Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets, again joined by Jakob the Lord of Malts. Uh, today, looking at a collaboration beer with uh, or by Stone, Ken Schmidt, and um, Iron Fist. Or yeah, it's it's basically the competition that Stone has every year, where you can win, uh, you can do homebrew, and you can win the chance for it to be brewed on the Stone brewing system, which is really cool. And um, this was sent to us by Ryan. Let me check this out here. Which I've heard should be really good. Uh, a chocolate stout with mint. It sounds interesting. I've never had mint in a beer before, so that should be cool. And Ken Schmidt actually is, this, uh, as far as I know, it's the second time he wins uh, the competition. The first one he just w did was the Macadamia Coconut Porter. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had that, but I had the barrel aged version in San Diego. So, yeah, it's an Imperial Stout on 9.6% alcohol, so not the hugest one, but yeah. Go ahead and crack it open. So, we got the Stone, Ken, uh, Ken Schmidt's uh, Iron Fist and Stone Imperial Mint Chocolate Stock Port, and it's definitely Imperial Stout. It's pitch black. Yes. Well, well they're kind of like brownish, lightly tan head. Yeah. Kind of mocha colored. Man, it smells chocolate forward. I can smell the chocolate already. It looks nice though. It's, it's pretty dark. Um, but yeah, let's take out the aroma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that smells amazing. Oh, I smell the mint. I yeah. smell the mint. Chocolate and milk. Yeah, mint. milk, chocolate, and mint. It actually smells like the after eight chocolate almost. Yeah. Or thin mints. Almost, yeah. it does. Yeah. <laughs> Super milk and chocolate. It, it still it still does have like roast notes though. I think yeah. like roasted malt and. But but wow. it's really really subdued. It is the mint and chocolate. Milk. Yeah, which smells really nice. It works really well together actually. Yeah. I get a little bit of a sweet kind of dark fruit aroma almost, but as you say, it's like it's chocolate and mint all the way. Yeah. I mean, it's it's really dominating. But the there's game. a kind of like a very dark something going Maybe on. Maybe dark coffee thing? Yeah. Dark. And it smells on the sweeter side, which we like. Yeah. It's yes. actually it's actually a really nice smelling Imperial Stout. I had my doubts, because I've heard people say you can't really smell the it on like the mint isn't too dominant, but right now I think it's in, in very good, uh, like... It's very well harmonized. Yeah, and the mint isn't pepper minty kind no. of. No, it, it, it is, is like in the candies. Yeah, <laughs> it's real balanced and it's wow. really it well done. Great. I want to give this a try. And the smell. Anyway, cheers, cheers. Thanks, Ryan, for the beer. Wow, wow. that is really interesting. Actually, I think there's a decent amount of mint. There is. <laughs> it, it, it's not like the mint is. Like a turn overt, overt or anything, but it is there. Yeah. Because I heard people say like it could use a little more mint, but and in I the aftertaste, it's just it's just chocolate. a lot of milk. And yeah, chocolate. Mint, and mint. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lot of coffee though, yeah. and like dark roast malt. But the flavor up front is super sweet and tastes like <laughs> mint and chocolate. It tastes like an after eight chocolate almost. This is a really nice like dessert beer. Yeah. It's got some nice coffee notes. It almost reminds me a little of the, you know the coffee beans with chocolate. Yeah, yeah. It. It's got that kind of flavor. Some really heavy roast too. And the fun part is the mintiness kind of doubles as a bitter note. Mm. Uh, it feels like a bitter IPA, even though it's or IPA you mean stuff. Yeah, well, uh, well, as in an IPA, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, The aftertaste is kind of like you have this, in my opinion, anyway, a mint going on and kind of like it doubles as a kind of like a bitter aftertaste yeah well it says here that it's brewed with coconuts which is of course the chocolate part and the mint but it also says natural flavors so i wonder what that is the mint chocolate flavor in there is great um like i th i think it's really tasty yeah uh, mouthfeel is kind of like medium to full i would yeah it's full. not the fullest the fullest uh, imperial stuff but it's it's still on the fuller side um yeah lighter side of full slash Bigger side full of medium, medium, yeah, yeah, and it's creamy, I think. Yeah, but like rain wise for me, I'm gonna go straight up ninety with this one. I think it's really nice. I mean, it really tastes like an after eight chocolate in a beer form. Yeah, actually, it was it it is better than what I had expected. So yeah, really tasty stuff. I'm gonna go eighty eight. This is a great beer. Nothing much else to say. Try it, mm. especially if you like the thin mint or chocolate mints. Yeah. Um, Average, yeah, right. whatever. Yeah, <laughs> good yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, definitely let us know what you think of the Ken Schmidt Iron Fist and Stone Mint Chocolate Imperial Stout if you've had it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and 
Oh, tip. <laughs> there it was. We're gonna say cheers. cheers. We're gonna see you guys in another beer review.